We're here at the Dale Yard in Pembrokeshire to have a look at two beautiful examples of a brokerage boat. It's the Dale Classic 45, classic gentleman's motor yacht. And we've got two boats to have a look at. This is the 2010 model, which is hull number 10 of the series. And this is a 2005 model, which is hull number three. Because all these boats were hand-built at the yard, they're all effectively customised to some degree or another. So there are little tweaks and improvements that happen to the boats over the years. So this is hull number 10, the 2009 boat, and this has outboard grab rails all the way along the side deck. Whereas this boat here, hull number 3, built in 2005, has inboard grab rails. You can just see the teak grab rails along the sides and then this little stainless steel grab rail just around the bow area for when you're doing the anchor. All the boats have these lovely large open cockpits, but again, as the years went on, they made a number of little tweaks and improvements. So for in this boat, for example, we have these extended seat bases that just give a little bit more space, and then this rather lovely teak cockpit table so you can sit around it and enjoy a picnic out in the open. Hull number one in the series was built with an open wheelhouse, but from hull two onwards, they had an enclosed wheelhouse with this rather unusual stable door which opened up in two sections, and then an electric bulkhead, which slides down like that to open up the whole of the saloon to the cockpit and give a much better connection between the inside and the outdoor spaces. One of the real beauties of this boat is the quality of fit and finish you'll find in the interior. It's a real proper gentleman's motor yacht, and everywhere you look, you'll have this beautiful woodwork. In this case, we've got a high gloss cherry finish, but there's also satin finish, there's oak, there's even an ash boat. Just look at the quality of workmanship you'll see here. Beautiful folding table, little wooden supports, extends all the way. But from hull number four on onwards, there's one extra little trick which we'll demonstrate, which is a sliding dinette. So this just motors back creating extra space in the dinette so you can seat five, six, even seven people around the dinette table. Everywhere you look on board this boat, there are lovely little touches, like this purpose-built chart locker. As you can see, three racks, perfect space to keep all your charts beautifully organized. got this rattan finish on all the lockers, which allows them to breathe so that you don't get moisture trapped in there, whether it's clothes or, in this case, a little onboard fridge. Here we are at the helm of the Dale Classic 45. Very nice traditional layout, big chart plotter in the middle, carbon fibre effect dash. On this particular boat, he's fitted hydraulic bow and stern thrusters. Very nice traditional ship's wheel. But from hole number six onwards, there's another improvement they put in this great big glass sunroof, which is one of the reasons it's so light here. And of course, when you're out and about on the water, you can open it up electronically. Sorry. <laughs> and you've got all this beautiful fresh air. It's almost like being on a proper open boat. It's a proper seaman-like boat, the Dale Classic 45. So everywhere you look, you've got these little handrails here, 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 and down in the galley, it's a classic design with nice deep fiddles, proper grips to secure your saucepans, and a nice U-shape, so even when you're underway, you're nice and secure. Here we are in the master cabin on the Dale Classic 45. And what's lovely about this is the, app, the standard of detailing you'll find. So everywhere you look, you've got these lovely little touches like this tongue and groove effect on the headlining. You've got a proper sprung mattress. Fabulous double curvature on the ensuite door into the bathroom. These rattan breathable fronts to all the lockers. And there are dozens of lockers all around here, but they all add a little extra touch. And even the woodwork, look at this drawer here, for example really solid joinery. It all just adds to that overwhelming feeling of beautiful fit and finish and real class. This is the real secret of the Dale Classic 45. 
It's the legendary Arthur Mercel designed TT hull. So you've got this very slender entry point to the bow that gives it its famously soft upwind ride. And then it, it curls back to a flatter aft section, so you still get a really impressive performance. This boat is fitted with Caterpillar C9 engines of 575 horsepower each and is good for a comfortable 28 knots. But the real difference is you can do 28 knots in pretty much any sea you choose. Whereas a lot of planing boats, you get quite a slammy upwind ride. This one has a classic semi-planing attitude, just cuts through it all. The hull itself is based on a pilot boat design, but it's also a very beautiful yacht. So as you follow the top sides down, you can see the initial bow section starts to curl around and you get this beautiful tumble home effect where it wraps around almost like a reaver, giving that very classic, elegant stern styling. So underneath the hull, you can see this solid central keel section that not only adds directional stability when you're maneuvering around in a marina, but the fuel tanks are actually built into the keel itself. So all the weight is nice and low, big fuel tanks for long range cruising, and a really good, solid, easy to handle hull. Classic twin shafts, so very nice, easy handling. Bronze rudders, bronze P brackets, big propellers, classic gentleman's motor yacht.